Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Day 16 of Project Dwarves, and as you can see, I got my blondies and my gingers done. What else have I done today? Um, oh, I did all the, all the washes. So all the washes are done, the beards are done, and you know what took me a long time today? Was this! Kaboom! It's my banner, I finally finished it. Uh, thanks to Lasso, my good buddy who gave me the suggestion of tackling the the stone mountain on the back of the banners uh, or uh, onto the banners but yeah my friend lost soul 1889 definitely check him out he's super duper talented he's on my he's on my friends list and uh, he's always encouraging me and complimenting me but I'd already painted this when I read his comment today and it's um, just a bunch of dwarf runes that I saw online I just googled Warhammer dwarf banners and a couple of good ones came up from the Age of Reckoning website for concept art, but I decided to so I decided to try and and um, copy some of them, so, some of what was on them. Um, yeah, and I think it came out pretty good. Just a bunch of runes, the uh, list of battles, famous battles that this unit has taken part in. Um, just the Roman numeral two. I don't know why. And yeah, what else have I done? I also decided to do the the trim for the green cloaks in this unit to show that these guys are super ornate and detailed and all about the bling. So I, I took a a long time actually on the hair, the blonde hair. I'm, I think I'm kind of perfecting my technique with that. I think it looks pretty good. I also want to show you one of my guys right here that I worked on the cloak for. This one took me a long time and I still have to clean up a little bit over here, but this intertwining um, kind of runic design I wanted to try my hand at. So it's the first time I ever tried it and I know it's still kind of messy, but I'm kind of getting down a technique. Like right over here it looks pretty good, right? So that actually was like the, the longest part because I had to be very, very, very secure and stable with my how I held my hands and my paintbrush. Um, but I think it looks a lot more interesting than just a straight trim. It just takes a lot more time to do. So if you're interested in trying to do this, I don't—I wouldn't call it non-metallic gold, but it's just this kind of light bone-colored highlight. Then it's really simple. All I used was bestial brown to put down the outline, and then into that I painted snakebite leather, and then finally bleached bone, and you get that kind of effect. I did finish four guys completely, one of them being my musician. Actually I wouldn't say completely because I still have to paint the turquoise gemstones for his eyes, but the metallics are all highlighted, he's got the trim on his cloak all done, so he's looking good, he's just about finished, and here are the other three who are just about finished with their highlights, they're ready for their basing, and then they'll be done, and then they will join these other three guys up here who are watching my progress, keeping me on track. So, thanks for watching. Thanks everybody for leaving me comments and for encouraging me. I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to all of you or responded to all of you yet. I'm just still trying to get back into the swing of things with my new work schedule and everything. Oh, plus Skyrim. Oh, Skyrim, so good. Anyways, um, let me know what you think. And if you have any questions on how I did anything, I'd be, I'd be happy to answer them. Or if you'd like my advice or opinion on anything, I'd be happy to give you what, what advice I can. I just, oh man, I'm so happy with how my blonde guys are coming out. I think they're, uh, I think they're really awesome. Considering that it's so easy to do compared to some of the other techniques like this, <laughs> this trim on this guy's cloak, doing the, um, Doing the red hair is and the blonde hair is is so much fun, so easy, and I'm having a great time doing it, guys. So so thanks for watching, thanks for keeping up with Project Stunties, and um, we'll we'll be picking up with more progress tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll be getting done by the end of the week, and we can move on to uh, the final couple videos for this dwarf project before we put it to rest. So thanks for everybody who's been sticking with me from the beginning. Uh, big thanks to Christopher from AG Productions for starting this thing off and getting it going. And um, what was one other thing I wanted to mention? Oh yeah, I have a couple of other things, battle forces and just big projects lying around that um, I 
I might want to do. So I want to get you guys' opinion on on which ones I should do a next, another painting challenge on. I think these painting challenges are a lot of fun, just to see you know daily progress and how you, how how we're doing with each with each one. So uh, I'd, I'd love to get your opinion on. Do you think I should do another painting challenge like this? Another project painting project or uh, or or um, whatever. We'll, we'll see what I've got lying around and we'll see what we've got in the works later on. So. Thanks for watching everybody, and don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.